Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make Vietnamese grilled pork sausages without the use of curing powder. This version is sweetened with a natural sweetener and contains no preservatives and additives. If you wish to add natural coloring, I will include two options in the description box below. Let's get started. If using bamboo skewers, soak them in water for 10 to 30 minutes. This will prevent it from burning over a hot grill. First, you will need some garlic. Chop it by hand or use a mini food chopper to do the job for you. Then set it aside. In a bowl, add in baking soda, onion powder, ground white pepper, mushroom seasoning powder, sea salt, gum arabic, which is optional, water, fish sauce and cooking wine. Mix with a spoon, then add in the powdered allulose. You do not need to do it in this order, but just make sure that all these ingredients are mixed well before adding it to the meat for even distribution. In a food processor, add in the ground pork, shrimp, lard, and the rest of the ingredients that was just prepared. Most recipes do not call for shrimp, but my mom have always used shrimp in her recipe and I like it a lot better. It makes it sweeter and gives it a better texture. If time permits, partially freeze the meat prior to mincing. It will be more efficient and will result in a finer paste and better texture. After a few minutes in the food processor, add in the garlic. Continue until the mixture is at a desired texture or process until a fine paste. Marinate the meat for a few hours in the fridge or overnight. To make the green onion oil, add the sea salt and avocado oil to a small saucepan. Turn on the heat and when the oil is hot, pour it onto the chopped green onions. You should hear a sizzle. If you don't, the oil is not hot enough. Next, prepare to shape your sausages. You can easily shape them by hand, but I found this fun gadget for kebabs and we'll be using it to make these sausages. Surprisingly, the quality of this kebab maker is excellent. It is easy to use and makes shaping these sausages so much easier and faster. To use this kebab maker, all you have to do is unlock the top piece and remove the cylinder. Insert the meat into the cylinder until almost full. Then replace the bottom piece, turn it to lock it, then insert a bamboo skewer, and press down. Look how much fun this is. Shaping sausages by hand is my least favorite thing to do whenever I make a big batch. I must say, I was really having a great time with this. Today, I will be using this Japanese grill to grill my sausages. You can also bake them in the oven and of course grill it outside in the summer on your barbecue. This was my first time using this grill, so I did not realize that I have the option to not use the grill net, but set the skewer stay to hold the skewers instead. After placing all the skewers on the grill, brush the sausages with the spring onion oil. Turn it a few times for even grilling and continue brushing it with the oil. Although this is an indoor grill, I would recommend grilling these sausages near a window or under a hood fan. The extra fat in this recipe and the oil did drip down a bit and did cause some smoke. There is a receiving water tray underneath, which I find very helpful for the oil drippings. When the sausages are all cooked, serve it hot off the grill as a snack, make a low-carb keto-friendly noodle bowl, or roll it up in a rice's paper wrap.
Today, I prepared a bowl with kelp noodles, pickled carrots and daikon, sliced cucumbers, bean sprouts, mint leaves, lettuce, and more spring onion oil. You can also chop some nuts and sprinkle on top. Serve it with the keto dipping sauce and you've got yourself a delicious keto meal. If you want the recipe to the dipping sauce or the rice as paper recipe, I will link both in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a keto recipe request, please let me know in the comments below. And before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more recipes and videos. See you again soon.